Hey everyone, so this is going to be my video on my 2022 MLB predictions. So starting off with the American League East, I've got the Tampa Bay Rays in first place. I think they're the best team in the um, American League. The only key player they lost was Austin Meadows, and he's worth about two war last year. So I don't think that's uh, going to be that significant. In second place, I got the Yankees, who made a lot of interesting moves this offseason. They got Josh Donaldson. Um, some people wanted them to, to do a little bit more, but I, st I still think they're probably one of the premier teams in that American League East division. They still have Garrett Cole, Giancarlo Stanton, um, Aaron Judge, so <clears throat> still one of the best teams. In third place, I have the Red Sox, who did get Trevor Story, and they were in the ALCS last year, so... In fourth place are the Toronto Blue Jays, who a lot of people are for, are picking to win the World Series. They're kind of a sabermetric fa favorite, but I think when you lose Marcus Simeon and Robbie Ray, and you don't even make the playoffs in the previous season, I, I'm not really going to consider you a top-tier contender. Now, they're contenders, no question about it. They're good, but um, they're not great, necessarily. Well, it's kind of a wait-and-see thing with them. Um, in last place, I've got the Baltimore Orioles. Don't need to say much about that. They're obviously a complete joke. Um, in the American League Central, have the White Sox winning the division again. They did lose Carlos Rodon, but I don't think they won the division by 13 games last year, so I don't think that gap is going to be narrowed. Uh, the second best team I have is the Minnesota Twins, who did get Carlos Correa, and I think that their performance last season was a bit of a fluke. But overall, I mean, that's a 20-game difference from last year that they got to make up. I think at best they'll come close, but they're not going to be better than the Sox, most likely. In third place, we have the Tigers, who got Javier Baez and Austin Meadows. So 2021 is indeed the year that the Tigers won 77 games. Um, I think this year maybe they'll win 80 to 82 games. I mean, I like their additions, but I don't think they're better than the Twins or the White Sox. In fourth place, I got the Kansas City Royals. They do have sort of an underrated lineup because they've got one of the best infields in baseball with... Um, Bobby Witt Jr. at third base, Mondesi at shortstop, Nicky Lopez at second base, um, <clears throat> Carlos Santana at first base, and Salvador Perez at catcher. I think that's a pretty underrated lineup. They also got the addition of Zach Greinke, which I like. Um, but they're probably not a contending team, even if they are a bit of an underrated one. Um, and in fifth place, we've got the Guardians, who have a new name, which will be adept for them because they're going to be guarding the bottom of the standings. Then, then there's the American League West, which I think will probably be won by the Astros, which, I mean, we hate to say it. I mean, we'd rather have the Mariners or Mike Trout's and Shoei Taney's Angels get into the playoffs, but we got to be realistic here. The Astros are, unfortunately, the best team, and as much as you might hate them, I mean, it's, it's what history tells us is going to happen. Um, the Mariners had some nice additions. They might be able to break the playoff drought this year, but I don't think they're better than Houston. The Angels, you know, we all know that they've got the names, but it never seems to work out at the end of the year. They're always usually under 500. I'd pick them to win about 80 games. The Rangers signed two really expensive shortstops, uh, Marcus Simeon and Corey Seager. The last time that they signed two expensive shortstop, they signed an expensive shortstop was Alex Rodriguez in 2001 when they finished in fourth place, and I think they'll finish in fourth place this year as well. The Oakland A's are in a full-on rebuild. And I think Billy Bean will get them contending again in a couple years, but now's not the time. Um, moving on to the National League in the East, I've got the Phillies winning it. I think that they've um, they've got a great offense, and maybe pitching a defense might win you championships, but I think offense is what gets you there in the first place. In second place, I've got the Braves. Um, they had some dumb luck last season, but they do have Acuna Jr. back in right field if they don't have uh, Freddie Freeman anymore. Uh, they're still a pretty good team. Um, I just think the Phillies, I j I'm just picking the Phillies for first place. Um, in third place, I got the Mets. Um, I think that they're pretty um, overrated. I mean, the sabermetrics are always showing that the Mets are going to win 90 games, but, you know, they haven't won more than 86 in any of the past three seasons, and Jacob deGrom just can't stay in the field. I mean, some good additions, but I wouldn't be crazy about the New York Mets. I mean, they're the Mets, right? Uh, the Nationals, um... They got Nelson Cruz, but for the most part, they're still pretty much a one-man show, if you get what I'm saying. 
Um, and the Florida Marlins, or Miami Marlins now, they got Jorge Soler and Evisel Garcia in the outfield. Both pretty average players who I saw uh, play a lot for in Chicago. They're not anything special. Um, in the NL Central, I think the Brewers are going to win. Um, they've made the playoffs um, for many consecutive years now. I mean, everyone would like to see the Cardinals, you know, have one last ride with Albert Pools and Yetter Molina and Anna Boring ride, but those guys are pretty old now. Um, the Brewers, I think, have a more well-rounded team. They're younger, and I think they're the favorite. I, I would look for um, Christian Yelch to have a better year. The Reds, unfortunately, you know, last year they were kind of close to making the playoffs, but they traded away two of their best players, so... They'll be lucky to be 500 this year. The Cubs made some good additions with uh, Saya Suzuki in right field, and they've got Nick Madrigal playing second base, and Marcus Stroman, the rotation. So they're going to be better, but they this is a team that no longer has Chris Bryant, Anthony Rizzo, or Javier Baez. So just not quite what they used to be. I would expect about 75 wins from them, but they could surprise us in one more. Um, but there's no question that the fifth place team will be the Pirates. One of the worst teams in baseball, a near minor league team in my opinion. And then the NL West, I'm picking the Giants. Um, it's an even year, and we know that the Giants can do some crazy stuff in even years. Buster Posey retired, but they've got a great um, young catcher named Joey Bart to replace him. And this is a team that won 107 games last year, okay, more than any team in baseball. So I think they're not only the favorite for the NL West, but I would say the National League in general. And then the Dodgers, of course, are very good. Finishing second place. I don't like the the Craig Kimball for um, AJ Pollock trade. I think that was a mistake on their part. He's not Craig Kimball's not very good. The Padres are without Fernando Tatis Jr. for the first uh, several months of the season, so that's going to hurt them in the standings. Rockies made some nice additions with Chris Bryant, but unfortunately, I don't think that they've um, they play too hard of a division to really um, make make much of a statement. And then the Diamondbacks I have in last place. Um, so when we get to the World Series, my pr my prediction is going to be the Giants over the Rays. Um, I think those are the two best teams in each league. They won the most games um, last year, and both teams haven't really downgraded much. So that would be the favorite, in my opinion, was, would be the Giants. The National League has won the World Series the last three straight seasons, and I think it'll continue for a fourth one. Um, for Rookie of the Year, I've got Sai Suzuki of the Chicago Cubs. Maybe not a rookie because he's played a lot in Japan, but I think he's going to put up some good numbers. Um, and in the American League, I've got Bobby Wood Jr. winning the Rookie of the Year from the Kansas City Royals. He might not hit this year, but he will in the future. He's one of the best uh, prospects in all of baseball. The Cy Young Award in the American League, I'm going with Dylan Cease. And in the National League, I'm going with Zach Wheeler. And for the MVP of the American League, this is a biased pick, but I'm going to pick Luis Robert of the White Sox. Wander Franco is a good pick, too, so is Vlad Guerrero Jr., but I think Luis Robert is kind of the new Mike Trout, in my opinion. And in the National League, I'm going to go with Juan Soto, who, I mean, the Nationals aren't contenders, but I think he will put up amazing numbers and probably will lead the National League in war. So there are my 2022 MLB predictions. Uh, let's check at the end of the year and see if um, all these are wrong. Uh, hopefully not, though.